Hello and welcome to this how-to video featuring the Fundamental Book Die and what an exciting die this is. We're going to talk you through the different dies included, what they cut and how we build a book from this fantastic die set. So if we take a look at the design itself, what we have is a lovely large size book. The first die of which the largest, most outer die there you can see is the start because you've got this little spine, this little detailing at the bottom to indicate that is your first and outer die for this design. Next up, we have got one, two, three mats and layers, but of course these could be pages within their own right as well. These could be inserts into your design. They could be covers for journals or mindful moodling, whatever it may be that you want to create. Those are going to be perfect. Having them in the different sizes means we can add pages to our book by sticking them to the spine in the center. What makes this book different to any other book diet you may have seen are these little windows here. These are really, really exciting. These little dies themselves, what they create is like a box effect on your pages. Very, very interesting. What they have is a cut line to the top and a cut line to the bottom, so you can cut them into your pages. And the sides are both score lines. So you essentially fold these back underneath and that pushes a little aperture into the book page itself, creating a little window, creating a little space into which you can create your designs. You have them in a smaller, and also a larger size there as well. Again, with those score lines perfectly placed, meaning you don't have to worry about measuring any, anything, scoring anything, it's all done within that die for you. And of course, you can utilize these independently from the pages as well. Also, to accompany those little tuck away designs, you've got your mats and layers for both the bigger and the smaller. And of course, you could be using these to create just little windows, mats and layers, little toppers, for example, or an area on your pages into which you could put a photograph or indeed, a sentiment of verse, something like that. We also have these dies here, which have these little tabs on, and these are perfectly sized to create little corners for your pages, both top and bottom, giving you extra strength to the corners, but also giving you a little bit of design detail too. And talking of design detail, we have included within this die set beautiful florals. You have some little anemones there, uh, longer line florals as well, little sprigs of lavender too, really great for building texture in your designs. And of course, a few little bits of foliage and little catkins too. Very, very lovely. Now, if we take a look at how this die actually cuts and what we can make into, how about creating something like this? This is just sublime. So here we have the idea of the background matte die, for example, there creating your card base and then using beautifully patterned paper with that wonderful little fold back design to the center to create almost like your little boxes to the pages themselves. Cutting it from that patterned paper really gives a fun floral effect there. And that's just one way of utilizing those beautiful dies. How about really going to town and cutting lots and lots of pages? So here, rather than using those uh, tuck away those little book dies to the top. What we've done is cut lots and lots of pages, then sort of curve them, fold them, shape them into giving the effect of a wonderful book design there with pages opening and flowing, just gorgeous, embellishing that with lots and lots of florals as well. Perhaps rather than having the uh, little apertures going back into the card, maybe you want to craft them so they are coming away from the page as well. So here, you not only got a few little pages going on, lovely sculpted pages, remember those little uh, corners for your pages as well, but then what we've done is crafted those wonderful little apertures as standaways from the card page, giving you lots and lots of height and dimension to the design, and of course, embellishing that with your die cuts from not only this collection, but other collections within the two Red Robins range as well. So let's take a look at how this die comes together. So what we're gonna do is cut all the layers and talk you through them and show you a few different compositions of what we have for this design. So we've taken a nice heavyweight card. This is about a 300, maybe 250 GSM plain white card and cut that largest die with the little spine there to give you that base, okay? So this is gonna be your start place. And from here, as we've seen in those samples, you can add lots of pages. We've got one two, three different matte layers that can all be crafted to create flowing pages. So essentially all you do to create these as pages is give each page a little bit of shaping, just using your hands to bend those pages around, giving them a little bit of a curve like so. 
and then to the center we can glue that page down. So let me just grab my glue and we'll go through that as well. So here I'm going to be using a Pinflare book binding glue. It's a nice strong white adhesive and, <laughs> and it means when we're using it there's not lots and lots of water content to this. So what it's not going to do is not going to buckle those pages or give you any warping to the page itself. Notice we're only gluing along that central spine there and then that leaves the rest of the pages free if we want to then come in and perhaps add different looks to the inside, different stories, different designs as well. And there we go, all the pages just like so. So again, just shaping them slightly. Of course, we can shape them more once they are in place. Just move you up a little bit, book. Again, just using the mat as well to help me shape those pages around. And of course, each one could come in and have the glue down the spine and then be inserted into the book cover, lining that up so your points all align top and bottom here to create your book design. Just squidging that back into place like so. So there, you could add more and more pages. So of course, you've now got a couple of pages in your book design to create that wonderful card base. From here, you could of course add another layer, another page. You do have those three mats and layers within the design. Or we could come in and have a little play around perhaps with one of the apertures. So taking the larger size, let me just grab it and show you how to die. What we've done is again cut from that same cardstock one of the outline dies, the smallest pattern layer, and whilst we're cutting, we've included this little die. So what we're doing is lining it up, making sure this edge is straight with the edge of the page there, and running it through our die cutting machine. As we've mentioned, it's gonna cut top and bottom, and then it's gonna produce these little score lines here that create that wonderful fold to the design. What we can do now is just take those fold lines and just encourage the cardstock around. So starting at the middle and working our way out to create our fold and then folding back that second score line as well, all the way along, just like so. When we've got our fold nice and neat, we can go in with our bone folder and just encourage down that fold to give you a nice crisp finish. And the same with the other fold there as well. Same thing again, just encouraging that round. So there now you can see you've got this uh, shape starting to take place, this structured aperture with the card coming down and then the card coming along to form uh, like a frame. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, just starting in the middle with that bend and working our way out and then turn in the card. Same thing again, working our way along that score line. Just sharpening up those folds with a bone folder and just encouraging that round like so. So now on both sides, you have that drop away of the aperture there as well. Same thing again, we can just shape those pages, shape both sides, and then you would stick your center point of the score line like so, center point, sorry, of the um, spine of the book. And look how much structure that fold away aperture is giving you. It's really, really sturdy. Because you've got that fold back effect on the card itself, it really is holding everything in place and giving you a lovely little area into which we can work. Of course, you do have options, as we've mentioned. You could cut two large apertures either side. You could cut two small apertures either side. You could cut just the one side if you wanted. Really versatile and giving you these dies independently of one another really hands the design over to you guys. You can then choose to work with this as you like. But we're gonna stick with the one we've got going on here. I'm gonna stick, again, using book binding glue, just because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room and it's gonna nice and stick nice and securely just like so. So along the bottom side of those fold away um, structure there and of course down the middle of the spine too. Going to line up that spine first in the middle of the pages and then coming around and because you've got that wonderful structure from those fold away aperture, that wonderful effect, it automatically curves the page for you as well, giving you a lot of lift, giving you a lot of height on this design too. So I'm going to hold that in place whilst I stick the other side, try and make it even. 
whilst my page is escaping, because you've got um, a little bit of sort of give on the page, the page wants to spring back because it's in a nice curve that you're giving to it. So just hold your page in place until the glue takes, just like so. You can also use uh, like a red liner tape to give you even more grab. And again, giving you an option like so. Now you've got a little area into which you could create a whole little world, a whole little story into there. Now, of course, we did mention you have also got the ability to cut away the mats and layers and the frame surrounds of the design. So you could have a little verse, you could have a little design, you could have a mat border, you know, again, different ways of mixing and matching these. And as we mentioned, you can always cut the apertures themselves with the outer die, the outer mat layer too, to create little standing effects too. So let's have a go with that. Let's have one pushing back into the card and let's have one standing proud from the card as well. Same thing again, whether you're working on the page or work, whether you're working off the page, just take the time to go along those score lines that you've created using the fundamental book die. Just folding those along like so, just to give you a nice little frame. And this time around, we're gonna just stick, oops, <laughs> whilst my glue escapes. This time around, we're just gonna stick these little apertures in. And they are gonna sit proud on the page. And of course, what you could always do is have them uh, with a little mat layer surround as well. So you can then hide the little workings of the apertures folding back on themselves. Again, we're using that book binding glue to glue that in place. And if we just lift, that slightly. Now you've got an aperture standing proud from the card as well. So ins and outs, lots and lots of different ways of crafting with those. And don't forget, you've got lots and lots of beautiful florals to then come and craft as well. So once you've finished, once everything's set, once everything's glued, once everything's dry, how about creating beautiful cards like this? Lots of pages, lots of room for telling stories in there. You know, add to the design there, your detail pages in the background, beautiful apertures into which you can place things as well. Look to your collections, because this is gonna work so, so beautifully as well. And finally, if you wanted something a little bit more pared back, for example, just coming in with a plain white top, and of course, a little place maybe for a verse or a photograph, something like that, that is gorgeous, lots and lots of layers to go at with that one. And again, space for you to craft with this as you wish. That is the book Fundamental Die from Two Red Robins. And the link will be in the description below this video if you haven't got yours already. If you have, we'd love to see what you've been creating. Do share your projects with us over on the Facebook group, uh, Two Red Robins Two. That's the group. You can find us there for inspiration as well. Lovely to see you guys, and we shall speak to you very, very soon. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below, and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video, or click here to see more videos like this one.